From extreme weather events to rising sea levels, the effects of climate change can be felt all across the globe. And here to shed some light on the challenges and the innovative solutions emerging in response, please welcome award-winning journalist and author of Life As We Know It Can Be, our former colleague and friend, Bill Weir. Hello, family! Come back home and get all the love. Oh, I've been getting so many <laughs> lovely deep hugs from folks I haven't seen in a decade. It's we like, love you, man. It's like going back to your childhood home or your high school, and then like I don't know if I've grown or it seems smaller. <laughs> but it's the shared trauma and the friendship. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. So in this book, you tell lots of different people's stories, so sort of like what you do in life too. Yeah. What are your favorite stories that you came across? Well, you know, I when I. My little boy was born in, in April 2020, sort of height of pandemic, right? And I'm, I'm an old dad, suddenly new old dad at 52, looking out in a world in lockdown, realizing this little bundle is going to live to see the 22nd century. And, you know, in this beat, you study the scientific warnings, you see the trends of what's happening. But when he was born, I really started to focus on solutions. I started mm -hmm. looking for dreamers and doers and innovators and people who are tackling this idea, turning their anxiety into action. And everything from uh, the first solar village in America, built in Babcock Ranch, Florida, which survived uh, the Hurricane Ian. I was 15 miles away and flooded darkness. They kept their lights on the whole storm. Did not flood because the way they designed that community holistically. Uh, I met uh, a guy from a thermal battery company who says, who looks at the abundant clean energy we have now. Did you know that Texas leads the nation? in renewable energy, way more than California and Florida because it's so cheap these days. The economics of wind plus, wow. uh, or battery plus storage is trumping po politics and ideology in, in these red states and people are seizing on this and now it's just a matter of holding it and keeping all that free energy. A couple Sundays ago, electricity was free in Texas for six hours. Now we have to hold it and I meet people like innovators from a company called Antora that is developing thermal batteries, which is basically just a hot rock in a box that they heat up so it glows like the sun and can power factories, can make steel, can open that box like the end of Raiders of the Lost Ark and the, and the light coming out <laughs> creates more electricity. And so we're going through this industrial clean energy revolution that most people don't notice right now. The, uh, the, the message around climate and being eco-conscious is that you have to live in a yurt and you know eat tree bark but now technology has leapfrogged us into a world where there's so much of possibility and abundance and you know dr king didn't say i have a nightmare people were living the nightmare and in the climate space people don't talk enough about the dream of building mm -hmm. healthier more sustainable more affordable more resilient communities whatever may come and you just talked about those groundbreaking innovations and the people who have inspired you along the way. What keeps you hopeful? A couple of things. Uh, one is facts like what I talked about, clean energy in Texas and places like that. Also a term that I learned writing this book called pluralistic ignorance is that we misidentify people we see on the streets every day. In 2022, if you'd ask the average American, just guess what percentage of your fellow countrymen and women care about climate and want to do something about it. Most people guess like 33, 40%. It's 66 to 80%. Wow. People who care about this and think they're outnumbered two to one, it's the opposite. You have allies you never knew you had because folks don't talk about climate mm -hmm. change at dinner parties or at drop off. Nobody wants to be the buzzkill, but I think we're just talking about it in the wrong ways. Uh, the more knowledge we have, the more power there is. The more we connect with communities, we got to connect with each other. Yeah, and we all want yeah. the same thing at we the do. end of the day. We do. And what an honor to have you back one more time for our boy. Yeah. Thank you, Bo. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> so be sure to check out his new book, available wherever books are sold. Also next week, we are kicking off Earth Week with a series called The Power of Us, People, Climate, and Our Future. Special reporting on the climate challenges we face and empowering stories about possible solutions. I can listen to Bill talk all day. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> all day. Love it. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.